look up their financial records, I'm about to show you how. For those of you that don't know, I'm a formerly trained counter-terrorist, so believe me when I say, follow the money. By the power of analysis! I regularly update the FBI about the state police pedophile scandal. So I got to wrap it about my new findings and I got on to how the cops used the real estate racket to defraud banks. And that's why they threw the pedophile investigation. This FBI agent I was on the phone with did a Scooby-Doo trying to smash the phone down as fast as he could. Hot potato. So let me share with you what the FBI doesn't want any of us to know. Meet Officer Michael Caracato, a local problem cop that sexually harassed another female officer for years. With filed complaints being thrown across the room at her in retaliation by Sergeant Larry Weikert, still underemployed. This protected pervert's such a big piece of shit that he won't fucking flush. Even though he's caught felony pervert videotaping the female officer and threatens her to keep her quiet, our victim's rights award-winning district attorney fat fuck Brian Sinnott allows him to plead out to unrelated charges, then gets him into a program wiping it from his record, enabling him to sue for termination without cause and his court-mandated rehired with back pay. Which nets him more than his victim. Right in front of our faces, man. Just like my triple attempted murders and successful stabbing, Pennsylvania law wrote this all up as legal. America! And as citizens, there's nothing we can do about it. Or is there? Keep it. Okay, so as promised, looking up financial records. I signed up with a low-cost public records website that consolidates information for us. I'm not monetized, so I can honestly say I like these guys because they are cheap, unlimited, and organized. So I just plugged in this turd's name, scrolled down to assets, and looked up his housing finances. It turns out that while he's fired out of a job, he uses a veteran's loan to refinance his house in equity for $160,000 when the property's only assessed for $90,000. Keep digging, buddy. But wait, there's more. A tax history report actually reflects this discrepancy in the opposite fucking direction. See, here's his veterans refi doubling at 160K and his taxes consequently having. So let's count the instances of official fraud here. Keep digging, buddy. Good boy, get him. Fraud number one, tax assessment. A state licensed real estate assessor has to misrepresent data. Which leads us into fraud numbers two and three. Real estate and bank fraud. Someone had to misrepresent these numbers to get a 160K loan on a house valued at 90K all while being out of work and having UCC filings listing him as a debtor. But someone had to misrepresent those numbers to secure fraud number four. The VA-backed home loan for veterans. Even a hundred years ago, they knew what a piece of shit this guy was. Apparently, his boyish good looks have stand power. If that's true, how the fuck did he find a VA rep compromised enough to commit a felony to facilitate this fraud? Hey, what's up, Stan? Hey, how you doing? Good. Support your local wounded warriors. Yeah, how you doing? Appreciate that. Why are you hammering me, man? Hammering I, I, you? Yeah, I never yeah, did because you absolutely you. blocked me. It's all up online for everybody to see. Hey, I've seen you don't in town. Don't call me a liar, Trey. Don't you are absolutely a liar because I have it oh, up online. You. That's so disrespectful. That's so disrespectful. That's so disrespectful. How's your social security claim coming? I don't know. It's stalled, man. Yeah. You got something on that? Boy, what do you know about that, Stan? Oh yeah, I just served up some Stan Clark right there! Well shit, that was easy. All we had to do was look up our criminal county commissioner's best friend hard at work. In fact, we run these same search parameters against the criminals practicing law at our county bar association and find out they're slanging houses to each other like crack rocks. Except crack rocks tend to run a little more than a dollar. Oh boy, keep digging. But first you gotta confiscate the crack to sell out of thin air. Then have your money man wash it clean before you cycle it all back into circulation. That's how you detect a dirty cop. This video is on how you incriminate them. All you gotta do is report it to your local friendly law enforcement. I, he I trespassed to get through that gate. I informed him he's not Did you cite him? No, I did not. Why not? I called to make a fucking complaint. You guys, this is exactly how you guys hid my stabbing. Do you see that? An entire barracks of you guys didn't see it. And then lost two CCTVs of it. Officer Meyer, you're part of a terrorist organization. You guys are screwed because you're going to have to report this now. He's a repeat violent farms offender. You guys aren't worried about this? 
You're not worried about Officer Moore? You're not worried about this? Go. You're gonna just walk away. That's the blue coat of silence right there, man. You guys just signed your names to it. This is where these guys lose multiple child rape kit picks to protect their federal housing defraud. Stop drawing attention to stuff. I don't know why. Why? why? Stop trying to hide it. I'm trying to report a crime. Oh, hey, and parents, don't forget to send your kids to Pennsylvania State Police Sunny Day Camp. Y'all, this is the next Epstein. You gotta check out my real estate pedophile scandal video. It's all there.